The birth of the new constitution that led to the devolution of government has seen the introduction of a new course into the education system of Kenya to cater for the management of counties. Dubbed Certificate in County Management, the course rolled out by KCA University has seen those who aspire to be leaders in the county level and above to re-equip their careers for efficient administration of the counties. And everybody in Africa will come to Nairobi to take a look at the city that is leading Africa as a continent. So people, we are not inviting you here to get certificate, to run for something. We are inviting you to learn different skills, and those different skills will multiply one million times as we look at the development of this country. There is not one single person, people, that cannot learn. The only one that cannot learn are dead people. Significant resources will be entrusted to you. For some counties, it is in excess of two billion shillings. And we have had a bit of experience with CDF. And what we have learned, especially even in other jurisdictions that have implemented new change, if people are not taught to embrace modern methods of financial management, we actually set ourselves up for, for failure or for problems. The training which is tailor-made to suit the individual student's former experiences is the first one of its kind in the region and has seen leaders who are already benefiting from the program upbeat about the vocational study. It's just like one of my friends who went to New York some times ago, and that's the time that we did not have the, uh, the ICT and whatever, and his name here was written, Mayor from Nairobi, Kenya. Uh, could have been me, but those were the time of the email. So this man asked me, uh, excuse me, oh, Mayor, very good, uh, can I have your email? Ba, 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 ba. I didn't know what the email was. <laughs> So I uh, started saying, uh, you know, he said, your address. Oh, yes, City Hall, Pure Box 307. <laughs> so ladies and gentlemen, I am very proud and I'm very happy that I have managed to come back to school. Ukisikia language ya viongozi imebadilika. Tabia imebadilika. Maono ya imebadilika. Tunataka tuendele kusoma. Hata kama wengi wetu wa wata participate kwa uh, the next general election. Wawe na vieti ambao hata biashara. Akifanya aneza kuwa amesoma vizuri. So tunawapongeza kesie. Na hii ni jambo kubwa. Niliona joa kech akiwa my classmate. Na fraia kwa sababu ni mzee na mini kijana. But ye ni classmate wangu. Na, na kopi yake na kopi yangu. Na tunasonga mbeni. Women who are enrolling for the new curriculum also find it quite enlightening in matters of affirmative action and women rights. With this kind of knowledge that I have gained from KCA, I'm very sure that a uh, positive change and we'll be able to have more women in terms of um, uh, leadership positions coming out and filling in those positions competently because um, through their course I've also realized that it's no longer the old style whereby as long as we have the popularity or numbers at the grassroots level, it also has the academic implication you have to have at least a form 4 certificate for you to vie for a ward seat but so far it's not still enough you need to have to back up that as some aspiring leaders are busy filing court cases across the country seeking to lower the academic requirement for them to be elected in the new constitutional dispensation others are deciding to go back to school solomon Wery. GBS News.